What's going on over here? Well, good morning, gentlemen. Did you miss us on our trip? John and I were both gone, and you guys had the house to yourself, and you didn't blow up the place, so that's a good thing. But today we have a little bit different style of vlog than what we normally do. So let me tell everybody what we're going to do today. Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. I hope you had a great day. Now, what we're doing today, we are actually going to fulfill some Patreon requests or some Patreon rewards that I owe people. And this one is a first time for me. I put it on there thinking nobody would ever choose this as a reward, and sure enough, in one month, two people chose it, which is kind of cool because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of effort, and if you're going to do one, you might as well do two, so that's perfect. We're actually probably going to do four or five today because I bought a big kit. We're going to tie-dye some t-shirts for my Patreons. I sent them emails, asked if they had any color requests. Really, they didn't. They said whatever you do is cool, so they sent me their shirt sizes. I went out and bought a couple of souvenir Hollywood shirts. Since I film here in Hollywood, I thought, you know what, they probably won't complain too much if I send them a Hollywood-themed shirt that I tie-dye with my personal preferences or my personal colors. So we're gonna head down to Breck's house and we're gonna do that today. Days with Jordan the Lion and experiences in <laughs> tie-dyeing or adventures in tie-dyeing begins now. If I can get this lump out of bed, he's gonna go too, aren't ya? You're gonna go help tie-dye at Breck's house, aren't ya? Licking machine. Let's do it, time to go. All right, so I brought all the materials. Here's what I did. I went and, uh, like I said, I uh, I went to the Holly, one of the Hollywood souvenir shops, and you might be saying, are you being that cheap? No, actually, to buy the plain white shirts was cheaper than to buy the ones with the graphics on it. So I bought two extra large plain white shirts. I'm gonna do those, and what I might do is, uh, we might just, I don't know, maybe just sell two of them on the Facebook group or whatever. And then we're gonna make two shirts for my Lionheart Patreons, and since it was um, a three shirt deal, I bought this one just to experiment with. And then what our Patreons are gonna get, they're both gonna get this image. I like this one because it has the Hollywood sign, it also had Man Chinese Theater, it had, you know, the Walk of Fame, all that kind of stuff, so, and I vlogged that. If you guys remember the Silver Ladies, I, I vlogged all this stuff, so I thought, you know, how cool, we'll turn this into a tie-dye project. So, we have a total of five shirts, I don't know if we'll do all of them, but the first step in all of this is turning them inside out and washing them in cold water in the washer so that the color, the ink, or the dye, whatever, it'll take properly, so that's what we're gonna do now. And then I went ahead with this tie-dye kit. Normally I buy the smaller ones, but this time I decided to go with, uh, this one has 18 different colors, 18 different bottles, and once you put the water in the bottles, you pretty much have to use it that day, so, yeah. so that's the case. We're gonna try and do, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna pick the colors. I think I have an idea of what I wanna go with, and uh, we'll see how it goes. You've only been home for one day and you missed Breck that much? You like hanging out with Breck that much, huh? You getting him? What are you doing, knucklehead? Racing around Breck's yard? Go get him, Jaw. <sighs> Do you see Flash over here? Let's go say hi to Flash. What you doing up there, Acrobat? Nice pencil work there, Brick. All right, so I just made a color pattern list for how I want to make these shirts, so I won't have to uh, guess or anything like that. So we washed all the shirts, now we have to, I'm gonna do spiral tie-dye. I tend to think that comes out the best and I like the look of it the best, so. We're gonna do spiral, so I'm gonna kinda of show you how we do that. Um, you basically use rubber bands and you kinda of pinch it and spin the shirt. So in the kit they give you like gloves, they give you um, usually like a, a thing to lay out, and mat, they give you the rubber bands to do the tie dyeing. And, uh, and then all these bottles already have the dye in them, you just add the water yourself and then you shake them up until there's no longer powder in the bottle. All right, so Breck's kind of gonna be our Vanna White in this experiment. He's gonna kind of help me uh, so that I can film it. He's gonna help me 
basically do it. He's gonna help me spin this stuff. We're gonna use his hands as the hand model for this fiasco. <laughs> and as you saw Breck doing, use the gloves. You don't wanna get the die on your hands. Use the gloves, pretty much from here on. And plus, the, uh, the gloves also help to keep the shirt clean. You don't wanna get anything on the shirt while you're doing this. So we, you lay it out as flat as possible, and then we're basically gonna pinch the center and then start spinning it and just keep spinning it and spinning it and spinning it until it turns into like a pinwheel. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start spinning it now. So Breck, show them how we do that. All right, well first thing you gotta do on this one is figure out where you want the center point to be. And so we've decided we want it right here in the center of the Route 66 sign. So I'm gonna just gonna grab it and pinch it like this and begin rotating it. And what you wanna do is to keep this pretty much as tight into as a tight little ball as, as much as possible all around the center point, trying to keep it flat. Not super, like not as tight as you can get it because you still want the dye to be able to soak in there, but you want it um, you want it organized when you're putting the rubber bands on it so you can make sure that your sections are sectioned properly. See, Brick's doing a pretty good job of that right there. Once you get to the point where there's a reasonable size mass in the middle, you can start grabbing it and, and then just pull it around. Yeah, and right there. Kind of tighten it up a little bit. Our particular design, we're going to do the six pie wedges, so we're going to do three rubber bands going, intersecting like that. So first thing you want to do is, look, this works best if you have somebody to help you. And the first one, you, you're basically just kind of struggling to keep it Together. everything where everything where it should be. Once you get a couple of these in position, it'll kind of hold together better. All right, let's rotate it this way. And basically you're gonna create your kind of six shape pattern here. So I'm gonna put one. You can do more, you can do eight, but I think that gets a little busy sometimes. So we, we tend to do six. And then we're gonna do one going across this way. Right. So that way when we start squeezing in the the die, you'll we wanna concentrate it to each triangle, basically. Well, we got it. We got them all wrapped up. Now it is time to start the dyeing process. All right, so I have them separated into how I'm gonna do the shirts. So we're gonna do this batch first, which is gonna be two shirts are gonna be done with uh, a mixture of those kind of colors. So we gotta put the water in now. All right, for this shirt, these are the four colors I'm using. I'm using turquoise, dark blue, purple, and I'm gonna use just a hint of fuchsia uh, because this shirt is for a woman. So we're going to do one of the Hollywood shirts. We're going to do the Patreon shirt first. And I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like as we, uh, as we get it going. So we are putting it on this grill piece because it allows any uh, dye or whatever to drip through to the bottom. So that's, that's what that's all about. You don't necessarily have to do it, but we found out last time that sometimes the dye that's on the this wrap table sometimes can end up getting spots on your shirt so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with um, let's start like this let's go with the light blue it's anybody's guess as to how this will turn out so <laughs> cross your fingers and you basically want to give a healthy amount in there because you want it to soak through as much as possible for that whole section that you're doing as you can see here it feels pretty good 
like I said, when I flip it, we'll uh, we'll get the rest of it. So now I'm gonna switch over to the purple. Yep, switch over to the purple here, and then we'll do the other one, fuchsia. And my hope in this is that this won't be a major section of the uh, of the shirt, but I really don't know because the way it's it's wrapped up. That's kind of the fun in it to me is you kind of don't know which section is going to come out dominant sometimes. Oops. And I'm I'm letting a little couple little splashes there just for character. I don't think it's all that big of a deal. And that one's done. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap this in saran wrap and let it sit for six to eight hours. Then just gonna put it out off to the side and get it out of the way. Now we're gonna do this next white one with a little variation on that. We're not gonna use the fuchsia on this one. We're just gonna stick with the blue, light blue and purple. And we'll show you that once we get it finished. All right, we have the second one, and this is one of the plain white ones, so we're going to move on next to, uh, we're going to do some color, some kind of multi-blast, Grateful Dead looking color experimental spirals here. <laughs> All right, we're going to work with this color pattern for the next batch, or we're going to attempt to anyway. Now we've done the flip, Just trying to finish off this one, move on to, I think, this next one will probably be our last one because I think I'm going to run out of uh, I think I'm going to run out of dye for the last shirt, but we'll see. We'll see. I never promised the tie dye shirts to come out good. I only promised that I would make them, <laughs> but I think they'll be okay. I think they'll be okay. And don't be afraid to get in there and root around. You got to. You're going to find white pockets all over the place otherwise. So, so you really got to get in there and dig around. So I think we're going to do this Route 66 one next time when I can get some uh, some fresher colors. I'm pretty much, I don't think I have enough left in the bottles to complete a shirt right now. So next time. Now Michelle, that one is yours. And Amanda, that one is yours. All right. Well, we've pretty much cleaned up our mess. And I'm going to pack these up, take these home, and a couple of buckets I'm going to borrow from Breck. And I'm going to... Let these sit for about six to eight hours or maybe even longer. Then I'm gonna rinse them out in the tub and then I'm gonna put them each individually into a bucket with vinegar and salt. Let that sit for about an hour or so. Then I'm gonna wash them in cold water. All right, we're headed home. We're gonna finish over there. All right, we gotta do a couple of things involving this guy now. Go ahead. We're gonna get him two today because he has to get his nails cut. He has one of his nails is cracked. He doesn't know it yet. Good stuff, huh, Cha? We can't go that way. We actually have to go this way. Come on. No, no, I know, I know you don't want to go that way, but we got to go this way. No, no, come on. This will be quick. We'll get it done quick. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. No, no. Come on. Jaw. No, come on. Good boy. Went over to Gelson's and got a few things. I'm hoping he's done. He seemed like he was in an okay mood. 
As you know, Ja does not like to have his nails cut, so this could have went one of two ways. That was quick, I know that guy. There he is, hi buddy, hi. Very cool, as we were going to pay for our stuff at Tailwaggers, they came up to me and presented me with a rather generous gift card for Ja from Barbara. Thank you so much, Barbara, that was so nice of you, and what a surprise. Well, our four shirts have been sitting for now eight hours. I'm gonna start rinsing them out here, and then I'm gonna put two of them in buckets and soak them in vinegar and salt and water for about an hour. And then I'm gonna throw those in the washer and I'm gonna put the other two in the buckets and do the same thing again. Well, immediately upon rinse, that's what the plain white one came out like. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks pretty good. And Michelle, that's the back of yours. The pink actually, that fuchsia actually came out pretty cool. And there's the front. I'm trying to use a flashlight to light it up because it's so late here. Well, Amanda Heffernan, that one is yours. That's the front of it anyway. And that's the back of it. And that is what the other plain white one came out to be. So, since I made two plain ones, I think, like I said, I think what I'm gonna do is just put a donation amount Put two of both of those on the Facebook group and uh, put the donation towards the Portugal trip. Well, they're all out of the washer and they're finished. And it was a ton of work and I don't know that I'm going to leave this up on the rewards very long because I can't imagine wanting to do this every month. But this is our final result. There's one. That's the back of number one. That one came out pretty cool. There's two. That's the back of number two. There's three. That's the back of three. And here's our last one. And the back. Well, that's it, gang. Hope you enjoyed our adventures in tie-dyeing. Have a great night, and we'll see you all later. If you were one of the two people that I made these especially for, hopefully by the time you see this, you already got it in the mail. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.